Look what I've got here. Interlibrary loan from the National Postal Museum in Washington, a very rare book. Penguins, Potatoes, and Postage Stamps, a Tristan da Cunha Chronicle by Alan B. Crawford, who lived on this remote island, most remote inhabited island in the world for many years, wrote three or four books about it. And he put potatoes in the title, but when we start leafing through the book, <laughs> we see absolutely no reference to potatoes. Right. Now, so um, here's, he talks about shipwrecks. He talks about lifeboats, Haley's Comet, uh, flightless birds, and the, the what is, makes this place famous is the potato stamp. And the potato stamp was in his effort to get people to be able to mail things from Tristan Acuna and, and have make some money from a, a postage stamp collector. So it's it's always known as the potato stamp. It does well, say potatoes on it. Yes. Yeah, so least. I wanted to explain that. So this this design uh, actually got produced, I think, and. Uh, the local value was four potatoes because people didn't have any currency on this island. Or, um, but there's there's no potato. In fact, there's no potatoes on any of these stamps, even though they're f frequently referred to as potato stamps. I just wanted to show you this. Um, so here's a picture of the islands, uh, a drawing, and they grew the potatoes here. You see, it says potato patches. All these little images here. You see oh, all yeah, these little yeah. ones? Potato There's not potatoes. one image of a potato. There's a mouse or a rat. Yeah, and they... They ate those too, huh? No. Oh. Um, the only mention in the book, it says... It says um, um, Something. It was not until 1937 when the Norwegian Scientific Expedition arrived. Uh, local wealth was based on the number of bushels a family possessed at the end of the digging season. A family of two with a crop of 100 bushels <clears throat> could expect a reasonable, secure year ahead. Potatoes would be supplemented with fish, poultry, milk, penguin, and seabirds' eggs. They had beef and mutton, but it was killed only occasionally on special occasions. Mm. That's the only mention of potatoes, even though this book is, uh, as in the title, here's a picture of them. It's the only picture... Actually, I think you can see briefly. Yeah, he's sort of holding a potato there. And these are the potato patches here, seen from the volcano. See them up here? <clears throat> so this island, in some ways, is famous for collecting what they call potato stamps. I want to show you this one here. So this is the story. The service could not be supplied free of charge. Oh, he started a little newsletter, the Tristan Times. I'm going to show it to you here. We have a copy of it. See, there it is. <clears throat> the price on the Tristan Times, this little newspaper, was three cigarettes or four big potatoes. All right, so let's just go back here. So this guy, the author, Crawford, started this little newspaper. And he says, the service could not be supplied free of charge. The problem was there was no money whatsoever on the island, so one had to improvise a substitute. It was not practical to dock a penny or two off a naval ratings pay. We had to think again. The answer developed gradually. Islanders could pay in potatoes, but the naval guys on the ship could not grow potatoes. They could pay in cigarettes. And so the first editions of Tristan Times sold for three cigarettes or four potatoes a copy. Two island boys, Harold Green and Lindsay Repetto, were my newspaper vendors, and they were went around the island every Sunday morning after church selling papers with a gunny sack. Can you see the gunny sack? Bag over their shoulders in which to collect the potatoes. So this is a book entirely about the postage stamps that made this island famous None of them feature the actual picture. Well, we are pissed, aren't we? By the way, we welcome your comments. Yeah. And appreciate you also subscribing. But say what you like or what you don't yeah, like. Just one last thing. The oh, island was one, last one thing. of their one of their products that they did export was rock lobsters. This is the label for it. So you can actually see a lobster on here in this book, but you won't see a picture of the. Oh potato. my gosh! Fuss, fuss, Look at fuss. that. Tr potatoes, penguins, okay. potatoes, and postage stamps. So join us the next time on uh, the, the uh, what is it called? Potato Museum Show, honey. <laughs>
Have and you been up too late? <laughs> don't forget you can subscribe. Yep, um, and that's that's it. We'll see Have you again fun. next time. Yeah, bye.